Good morning. I'm down at my local fishing club and uh, a few of the members have given me a few of their pumps that uh, by the looks of it have been sitting in the back of their motor for quite a while. So I'm dreading to see what I'm going to find when I strip them down. This hasn't been undone for a while. Oh, can't even separate the pump. <laughs> it's that solid. Come out. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's why it's so tight. He's using the dreaded tap washer. They're horrible. They're all right as a as a last minute resort, but definitely went. I'm definitely against using them. I had a few viewers um, tell me how to try and cure the silicon a bit quicker, and that was mixing it with water. It felt strange actually doing it, but uh, what I found was is it just didn't cure the same as when you pour it in and leave it to cure on its own. The water seems to react with the silicon and it's made it rock hard and uh, not really good for purpose. So this is one of the, the molds, uh, one of the silicon seals that I made in one of my previous videos. And uh, we're gonna clean this up, as I showed you before, with the nail clippers. Okay, so now we've trimmed the seal up and it's taken some sort of shape now. Then as I showed you before, all I do, I mean everyone does it different, is just put a washer over the top, screwdriver, you'll hear that pop, turn it over the other way, and it should just go straight through, like that. Put your washer on. Slide your new seal on. Like so, washers. Now I can't find the nut. Silly me, it's still inside the spanner. So then what we do, obviously, do the nut up. I ain't gonna do it too tight, well tighter than that, but. As you can see, it can, we can turn it round. With the stainless steel, it does stay clean. Copper which I do love using as you can see it does corrode but as soon as you start using it again and get it back in the water it comes up good it's been over tightened and see how the seal is worn let's clear some of this sand off but as you can see here it's worn on one side and this is getting to the stage now where it's going to snap before long. But you can see, so this one's going to need a new washer. You can see the misshape on the, on the seal where it's worn. On this one, because the thread's so long, they've put another additional nut as a like a spacer nut. So now you put your, your washer on. Washer. And then the nut. Just a little tip. If when you get home and you want to put a new piece of copper on your pipe but you haven't got no olives you can reuse this olive again all you need to do is get an axe or and just cut across at an angle don't cut it straight cut across at an angle and then that will pop off and then you can reuse it again because obviously it's it don't have to be watertight as long as it tightens up again that'll work fine so you can keep using the same olive so now we've built the two pumps We've still got one to do, but this is like this is how, how it looks now, yeah? It's it's so smooth. But again, it's that final adjustment on the end when you get down the beach. 
I'd just like to say thank you to everyone that's subscribed to my channel so far and everyone that's watched my videos I'm very grateful and uh, if you like the content that you see please subscribe thank you very much